These are devotions for people at a social distance. This morning uh, in my devotions, I came across a very familiar verse in Psalm 126, verse 6. The verse goes like this. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. Now, here's the thing about that verse. Whenever I have read it, I have always sort of fallen in my attention on the second half of the verse. They shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. It sort of gets the old memory uh, nodule going because yeah, I immediately in my head begin to crank up and sing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, which is, of course, uh, taken from this verse. Um, so I always get caught up on the second half, which is great, you know, rejoicing uh, is kind of nice, but... Today I paused a little bit because the first part seems a little bit odd. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy. Why are they weeping? Well, they are planting their seeds. So uh, I paused and thought about that a bit today. And of course, uh, you need to understand the kind of society this psalm comes out of. And what happened in that society is that most people actually lived a subsistence life. They lived close to the edge. And so, uh, when you do that as an agricultural people, one of the real struggles is this. There are lean times. There are times when there is not a lot of food. And uh, when you are doing that, there's always the temptation to just go to your stores and eat what it, you know, your stores of grain, that, that high energy food that is able to keep. You want to go and you want to eat that. You know, through the winter, that might be all you have. But there's a problem. Because if you eat it all, if you ate every last bit of grain, you have a real problem as a farmer because you need to keep a certain portion to plant or there will no, be no harvest the next year. And can you imagine when people are living that close to the edge, how often it would have happened that, that people watch their, their store of seeds uh, dwindle and dwindle and uh, you know they were starving, they were living on the edge and they... They couldn't eat this last bit of seed, <laughs> you know, because they had to keep it so there could be a harvest next year. That had to be hard sometimes. That had to be, you know, to deny your children food so that there might be another harvest months away. That's kind of hard to do. So that, I think, if I understand correctly, that's the weeping that they are doing through sowing. This is the last of their food. They are, uh, you know, they're at the end of their strength. They're the end of their ability, and they have to go, and they have to let the last of their food go into the ground. But, of course, they do it with hope that there will be a harvest the next year. I kind of thought that might be maybe we, where we are as we come into spring this year. I know that people aren't necessarily literally starving, but I think in man I run into lots of people who feel like they're at the end of their strength. We are tired. We are tired of this pandemic. It has gone on too long. And, uh, you know, new wave coming. Hopefully we'll be able to weather this wave, but new wave coming doesn't make us feel good, obviously. And, uh, you know, on top of that, add to the stress of a war in Ukraine and all of the, the, the stress of inflation and other uh, really difficult things. It's, it's hard. We're tired. And are we now going to just curl up in a ball and wait? Or are we going to take the last of our strength, even though we don't feel like we can afford it? Are we going to take the last of our strength and invest it into the possibilities of a future, a possibility of someplace to go from here? Big question. That's the difficult place where we are right now. So I guess I would take this passage of scripture and say, you know, hold on. Um, yeah, you are drained. Everybody's drained. This has been tough times. But there is a harvest coming. The sheaves will be brought in and they will be brought in with rejoicing. Hold on. Invest what you got left. What little strength, what little energy you got left. There is hope coming. We have to believe that. That is who we are as people of faith. Lord our God, for all those people out there who are tired, who are worn, who are struggling right now, give us the strength. 
to take out our seed, even if we do it as we weep, knowing that you are there with a promise of hope. Amen.